Thank you, Chairperson. In September, the Minister of Trade and Industry, Mr. Patel, paraded a so-called SACOM UK economic partnership deal. And we said it then and we'll say it again. There is no fundamental shift that is going to happen in the trade relations between Southern Africa and the colonial racist Britain and the UK in general. This is nothing but a new colonial status which will continue to benefit the minority white agricultural practitioners, European manufacturers, and allow mining companies, some of who are criminal syndicates like Denko, to continue to enjoy unfettered access to our mineral resources while our people do not benefit. What we're dealing with here is the problem protection of white monopoly control of the economy in South Africa. Here's what we should be doing as Southern Africa and the continent. One, we should first and foremost realize and appreciate that our development is the region and African continent is linked and should happen as one thing. Number two, we must begin to talk about African economy more and trade. With the and three, we must follow African Tree Trade Agreement, which must fast track the process to establish one currency and African currency. Lastly, we must begin to regulate as a continent goods that come to Africa and mineral resources that leave the continent and agree that more than 70% of all minerals must be beneficiated in the continent. If we continue to trade as the individual countries within the world, even agreements such as SACOM are rendered useless. In South Africa, we must repurpose state-owned entities such as ESCOM, Transnet, SAA, and DINAO to play a much broader and critical role in the development of Africa and building of infrastructure, instead of celebrating and agreeing to some colonial arrangement that should have died in 1994. I thank you, Chair. Thank you.